to use a multimeter on the ohm scale to check uh, switches with power off, switches, thermostats, thermal cutoffs, and high limits, you want to use your ohm scale, which will have a horseshoe shaped symbol for ohms, or it'll say ohms. And then usually on the 200 ohm scale, is good for checking uh, for like uh, switches and stuff because your meter will just read straight through. Like if a switch was made, it's like a piece of wire, so when you touch them together, it reads through. Same thing when you're reading a switch or a thermal cutoff. You'll read across the switch, and it'll give you the reading through the meter. And it tells you the switch is made or good. If it was bad, it won't change the reading like this one is bad. If you read across it, it doesn't change on your meter, and that tells you this switch is bad. Because if that was made across, it'd be like touching the needles together and you'd get a reading. So I can tell you that switch is bad. To use other scales, you can use your for voltage to check to make sure you have AC voltage, which if you put on your 750 volt, no matter what your voltage is, if it's 110 or 220, you won't hurt your meter if you put it on 220 and didn't have it. You know, if you had it set on 200, you might burn your meter out. So if you leave it on the, 200, the 700 scale or whatever, you can at least check your voltages and if you know you have 110, you can always turn it down lower to get lower readings for lower voltages. <clears throat> That's pretty much all you would need is your AC voltage, which is alternating current, which is your house current, or your ohm meter for checking resistance on wires, coils, and switches to see if they're open or not.